Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to Florida East Coast Surf Fishing. I'm Wallace. This is going to be our very first video today. We're out here at Cocoa Beach, our home beach. And uh, we're going to get everything set up today. It's a lovely day out here, as you can see. So bear with me. This is, like I said, our first shot at this. So we'll get we'll be back with you guys here shortly. All right, guys. Look at that, we're getting another hit, a hit over here on the uh, shrimp. Fish bites. Find out here in just a sec, see what it does. Yeah, I feel like there might be a little something on here. Our count so far is two whiting, both on the uh, sand fleas. The guys to my right over there caught a couple whiting, one little pomp. The guys to my left caught earlier, it looked like a little pompano. Beautiful day out here. The guys, we're at uh, Cadaveral National Seashore. There's a little something there. What is it? Oh, wow. Look at that guy. That's a monster whiting. Nice little guy right there. Got him on the uh, shrimp fist bites. We're going to let him go. Just a little bit small. If I can get the hook out of him. There it goes. Oh, not, and not hook myself. So, All right, little guy. There he is. A nice little whiting. We're gonna get rid of him. We'll have links to the YouTube, Twitter, all kind of nice neat stuff on there. So check it out. Give us a like on on our uh, video as soon as it's up and running. Subscribe. Give us a nice subscribe, a couple good likes, and remember you can leave comments. Uh, check the surf conditions, the tide charts, the whole nine yards on our uh, website page. That's uh, FloridaEastCoastSurfFishing.com. Or you can find me on Facebook, the same, same spelling. And that's going to be all one word. Florida East Coast Surf Fishing, one word. All right, guys, just got a hit. This is on the sand flea again. Oh, he's there. <laughs> all right. I hope he's still there. Feels like it. Haven't had time to sit down yet, guys. Uh, got everything baited out. This rod right here has the uh, sand flea fish bites on it. I don't know if he's still there. If he is, he might be a small guy, another whiting probably. But we'll find out here in just a minute. Oh, there's, now he's putting up a little bit of struggle. Got a couple other guys out here fishing. Oh, that's a little bit better than the last one. Let's see, see what we got going on here. Oh, nice whiting right there. You know what? He's pretty good size. I think that one might be one to go in the cooler right there, guys. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, you missed the tangle. Uh, it was a pretty good one. Uh, what you didn't see is while I was getting uh, everything untangled from the middle pole, I got a hit. I got a hot. Well, he's still on there, so we'll get it in. It's not a big guy. Uh, no, it was just waves. All right, good job. But we got the tangle undone. It was pretty gnarly. And what it was, it was making me think I had hit a, I had reeled this in a little bit and so it was up in the wave action. So we'll get everything straightened out. We'll get them back out there. And that was a little interesting tangle. It happens sometimes, so. All right, got another one on guys. Or at least another nice hit anyways. This is on the uh, shrimp. I don't know if he's still there or not, but we're gonna check it, it was a pretty good hit. 
So, give me a minute to get this guy in. We'll find out what's going on. He's down here. Oh, yeah, there's something on there, something small. So, we know on the, uh, Let's see what we got here. Sand fleas, we've got two whiting and the shrimp. We got skunk. All right, we'll get this guy back out there and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we're gonna check this one here. Got a bit acting a little funny. Uh, I don't think it was a wave. This has got the uh, clam fish bites on it. And it's moved a little to the south so there could be something on here but it was oh, there might be something I don't know yet I don't feel it fighting or anything like that just yet could have been crabs moving it I don't know but we'll find out here in just a minute uh, like I said guys thank you for uh, tuning in this is my first ever YouTube video so just bear with me I'm still learning how, how to do the video thing uh, once again, uh, our website is FloridaEastCoastSurfFishing.com. Oh yeah, there's something little on here. This little guy though, we'll find out what he is here in just a sec. But it is a wonderful, beautiful day out here. Uh, just did a little live video on uh, our Facebook uh, page. That's also uh, Florida East Coast Surf Fishing on YouTube. It is a uh oh yeah i gotta yes he took it all the way over across across the line gotta get get this thing untangled here oh uh, looks like he tangled it up pretty good nice whiting though guys we'll get this riff brought in looks like this one here is going to go to the cooler uh we'll keep this guy right here so uh, we'll get it untangled we'll get back to you all right guys we got something over here on the thing there's something in the water over there just turned it up pretty good nice dark spot muddy water I don't know if you guys can see it or not but it's right there uh, ain't service or nothing but it could be a little bait fish it could be anything it's the ocean so let's see what we got here this is the uh, shrimp fish bites didn't give me a good hit or nothing just you know some little slack line but we'll see what's going on hopefully We'll keep those tangles out. That was a good tangle just a minute ago. So. But like I said, beautiful day out here, guys. Oh, look at this guy, man. I think that's the smallest one of white I've ever caught. Nice little guy. That's why he didn't give me too much of an issue. So we'll get him off. Get him back with where he belongs here just a sec. How's it going, man? Neighbors on the beach here. Like I said, this was off at the uh, shrimp fist bites, guys. Uh oh, I just got a nice, nice hit over there on the clams. Let's just get this guy gone and we'll go check that one. Because you guys remember that was the ride that got, got me all tangled up on those cl with the clams. Yeah, there's something on there, something small. Probably another whiting. We should be. They ain't fighting. So, gotta remember to get me some new zip ties of these new rods. These are those H2O Express rods. So far, they're pretty nice. They cast okay. This has got my Optimix, uh, Quantum Optimix 80 reel on it with 30 pound braid. This, old, this reel's, I've had it for a while. But we'll see what's going on. It's a beautiful day out here, guys. Uh, I would say that was, we've caught several well, wow, look at another little whiting. Bunch of little guys out here today, guys. But still, hey, slow day fish is better than a easy day at work any day. 
My wife uh, normally goes fishing with us, but uh, she wasn't feeling too good this morning. So she stayed home, but he has a nice little guy right here. Happy. We're gonna let him go. All right, guys, we'll get another bite over here. Looks like on the uh, clams. We'll find out here in just a sec. And I am using a number two Eagle Claw circle hooks. So no need to set the hook. Just nice, good reel. There might be something out here. There's probably not a little whiting. Which is all right. We don't mind catching a little whiting. So at least we know we're catching something. Like that, man, it is a gorgeous day out here. Nice breeze. Uh, may, winds out of the west maybe two to five if that if two surf isn't too bad uh, Yeah, another little little whiting guys It's all right, we'll take him. It was fun can fun reeling him in He didn't put up no fight, but hey, you know where there's little guys the big guys will soon soon show up so there he is Get him up here, guys. See, see him real quick. Nice little guy. Bad thing about these little guys is they don't make much of a hit on on, the, on these big four foot rods. So you just got to kind of watch for them. Real pretty guy. There you go. Get in there. Come on. Nope. There you go, buddy. Have fun, we'll get him back in there. You can see quite a few turtles nests out here. Got old buzzards sitting up there on one of them. Just trying to wait for it, for, for one to hatch or something. Old buzzards, hey, but everybody's gotta eat. You know what I mean? So, all right guys, we're gonna get this line back out here and uh, we'll see you again. Hey guys, got another nice hit here on the middle pole. This has got the uh, sand flea. Oh, this feels like a little bit nicer fish. We'll find out though. Probably not a little whitey. Oh, guy down there to my left of me. He looks like he's got something on. I don't know if you can see him down there or not. But we'll see what this little guy is here. Decent little hit he hit, so that, that was a good thing. Oh. Looks like the shrimp might be getting one too, so we'll get this guy in. Yeah, little guy. Keep an eye on that first rod, see what's happening here, there. Get this in the holder. We'll get this guy set free. Yeah, oh no, little croaker this time, guys. Look at that. All right, different species, species number two. Good job, good deal, man. All right, buddy, have a good one. All right, let's check this one. Oh, yeah, we definitely got a hit on this guy here, so. Oh, a little bit better fish, maybe, or he's just fighting good. Be nice if it was nice pompano. Can't hardly tell, you know. They're small guys, so. But he hit it pretty decent. So, you know, you know, even though it's a bunch of small fish, you know, you bring the family out. Kids are like reeling in these small guys. They're great, great for the grandkids. Uh, the, the younger kids have a blast on days like this. Keeps them busy, you know, keeps them interested. But at least, you know, they're catching something. So that makes it good for a good day. Oh, that little, that's a little itty bitty guy right there, guys. That's all right, we'll get him set free. We'll get these two poles back at, in the water. And we'll see what's going on, man. Let's take a look. Oh, that little croaker is what that is, guys. 
Oh, he popped himself off, so sweet. All right, we'll let that little guy get back in the water. 